Hey guys, hope you are doing well. This is uh, from the field briefing for March 30th of 2017. And what I wanted to share with you guys today was looking at your time and thinking of what is the most um, efficient and profitable use of your time as the entrepreneur on your farm. And had a couple examples here recently that I'll share with you that illustrated this. Um, every spring, you know, it's kind of the ritual of all farmers everywhere to go to the uh, spring equipment auctions. And, you know, there's some guys who go to all of them. But if you think about it, you're going to spend, uh, you know, 10 hours down at the auction standing around waiting for that one piece of equipment you wanted to come along uh, in order to bid on it. And you might get it or you might not. Now, you might get a deal on that piece of equipment or you might walk away empty handed. But what you maybe are not considering is the huge amount of time that you just invested there standing around watching all the broken pitchforks and garden hose uh, sell before it got to what you wanted. So, you know, something that I do, if there's something I really want at an auction, is I'll walk through the day before and a lot of uh, auctioneers will allow you to leave what's called a left bid. So I can look at a piece of machinery and say, all right, I'm willing to go up to $500 on this or $5,000 or whatever it is. And I can give them a list of the pieces I want and the maximum price that I'm willing to go to and they will bid for me in that process. So I understand there's you know the element of standing there and, and getting into the spirit of the auction and all that, but you have to consider your time. What is the most uh, profitable thing for you to focus your efforts on? And even at home, on your operation you know are you uh, are you spending all of your time or the majority of your time doing simple tasks that could be delegated out to someone else or hired out to someone cheaper and allow you to focus on the more important things the more position critical items for your business in order for you to be successful you know there's the saying let the ten dollar an hour people do the ten dollar an hour work so you can do the fifty dollar an hour work so, you know, could it be something like hiring out, uh, you know, the cutting of the grass around the farm, the, the weed whacking, that kind of stuff. Um, yesterday, I had my brother out here, who's a professional plumber, do some modifications on our above ground water system we have on the farm, because we're about to turn it on here. It's work I could have done myself, but it's not worth my time to spend twice as much time doing it as he can, because he's got all the tools and gear to do it right and he can knock it out really fast and it's a professional job. So as your business grows, once you are fully gainfully employed into your farm business, the next steps you need to look at are starting to build efficiency and priority into your own time as the owner. Look at everything you do. Is it something that you can delegate out to someone else or is it mission critical for you to handle yourself you'll begin to um, you know, look at, you'll begin to understand what you need to do if you want to grow your business to those next levels is you have to start letting go of some of the smaller things and handing those off to other people. So hope that helps you a little bit. Um, as you are growing your farm business, we're riding back right now to get some uh, shelter set up for some gilts that'll be farrowing here in the next week. So some exciting stuff here. But we are full on into spring, and I'm excited about that. So until next time, till we check in and see you here, get out there on your farm and get after it.